Hey, good morning everyone. Michael Fanning, Warm Up 272. And today I was listening to a podcast by my good friend Eric Thompson. It's called the Leading Edge Podcast. He was talking about possibility versus impossibility. He was talking about goal setting. And as we are now at the end of the year, going into 2021, uh, a lot of you may be goal setting. So first of all, listen to his podcast, I'll put a link. But the other thing is there was a couple of things that came up for me, and I just want to tell you a quick story. So I uh, live here in Seattle, and the UW is close to where I live. And at the UW, they have rowing, right? So crew, and men's and women's. And Yasmin Farouk is the women's rowing coach. And she came and talked to our organization, the Windermere, uh, it was a few years ago. Um, it was after they won the 2019 uh, NCAA women's uh, race. And uh, she has these young collegiate athletes, right? And she wanted to help them make better decisions. Because here's the thing. When you think about goals, goals are met if you achieve the activities, right? If the activities you do every day are in line with getting you to that goal. And so she wanted their minds to have a filter. And so she simply just said, I'm going to unapply a filter and here's the filter. Because what we know, in order to win a race, there's one thing, one common thing. Does the boat go faster than all the other boats? So she said, any decision you're going to make while we're in the season, while we're practicing and we're in race season, you have to ask this question, is the decision you're about ready to make, will it make the boat go faster? And if the answer is yes, great decision. If the answer is no, you need to rethink your decision. So here's uh, my two cents on goal setting. And I just kind of wrote it down. I'm going to give you some steps. So step one, identify the goal that you want to achieve for 2021. And it's not I hope or I wish, it's I will. Okay, it's I will. Not I hope, not I wish, I will. And then you will do what, right? What is it you're going to do? Number two, what are the specifics? When is it going to happen? Who's going to be with you when it happens, right? Write those things down. Be as specific as you can in that goal setting, right? You're going to write that down. Number two, test your belief. Test your belief. And say, is it I hope, I wish, or is it I can? And Eric talks about this in his podcast about testing the belief and gives you some really great uh, ways to do that. And then uh, the third thing is now identify the daily activities, right? Identify the daily activities that have to happen in order for that goal to be achieved. So let's say that in 2021, let's say I want to lose 15 pounds. I want to be 15 pounds lighter, right? So I want to be, I want to go from 215 to 200 pounds. All right, so in order to do that, right, I will, I will. When's that gonna happen? When am I gonna hit that magic number of 200? Now, what are the daily activities that I need to do to make that happen? Well, I need to exercise. I need to eat less food. I need to probably eat healthier food. I need to get good sleep. I need to drink a lot of water, right? I need to do those things. So when I go somewhere and there's, you know, desserts or candy or those types of things, um, I have to ask myself, is that decision I'm about ready to make, going to make going to get me to where I need to go? And so it goes to my uh, my fourth thing, is build a mental filter. So just as Yasmin Farouk said to her, her collegiate women athletes, he said, she said, will this make the boat go faster? That was a mental filter. What's your mental filter? So my mental filter is, uh, will this help me lose weight? Will this help me lose weight? And if I write that down and I put that down somewhere where I see it every single day, right? That filter, if you will then it reminds me, that's right, is this thing that I'm about ready to put in my mouth, will it help me lose weight? No, it won't, okay? Not a great decision. Because goals are great to set goals, but what achieves goals? Successful activities. Daily successful activities. And that's typically where we fall down, right? Because we say, oh, I hope I can do that, or I want to do that. We don't say I will. And then what we do is we don't give it specifics. And then what we do is we don't break down the activities. And then we don't build a mental filter so that we keep ourselves accountable to the activities that allow us to achieve the goals. That's how you achieve goals, right? That's how you achieve goals. So review real quick. Identify the goal with specifics. Two, test your belief. Listen to the podcast that Eric does. Identify the actions needed to make that goal happen and then apply the mental filter that allows your decisions to stay on track to get you to the goal. Hopefully that was helpful. You guys, hey, make it a great day. Be awesome and help somebody. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.